Hey guys, how you doing? It's Tony from Build With Amy and today is going to be Battle of the SDSs. We have Nikita, we have Hilti, we have Festool. Watch this video and see which SDS wins the battle. Now, uh, I bought this about two years ago. I do find this drill, uh, Hilti. Uh, SDS really really good and the reason I bought it was for one reason and one reason only because it came with a vacuum kit. The other thing I have got is I've actually got a Festool SDS which I bought about 10 years ago and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on a bit of a challenge with each other today. I'm actually going to charge these batteries fully, charge the Festool ones. I'm going to see which one gets in quicker, which does the better. I'm not going to put the Hoover attachment on because uh, it won't be a fair comparison because uh, uh, the Festool one which is really old, doesn't have a hoover attachments to it, but it is actually really, really good. So the first thing I need to do is make sure my battery is fully charged. Oh, look, we've got a full battery, brilliant. So, and then they actually slip in quite nicely. There you go, so that's in, that's ready to go. So I'm gonna get that one set. Just gonna get the Festool set up. I prefer the balance of this one. This one feels a lot more balanced. Uh, so I'm gonna put that bit in there as well. That's it. It is a bit lighter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a go with that one, go with this one, see, and we'll have a challenge off as well. What as well, would be a bit fun, wouldn't it? And uh, to see which one horses into the actual brickwork quickly. Get that in there. Get that in there, so. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> so the challenge is on. We're gonna go head to head with the Hilti and the Festool. So let's have it. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna start this off, stop it drifting. There we go. I'm just gonna start this one off, stop it drifting. Here we go, ready? One, two, three. Oh, look, the Hilti does it. Only just so, look at that. Boom, and the ending in it is there, guys. That's pretty cool, actually, isn't it? I haven't come through the wall, have I? No, you're right. That's always a good sign, not come through the wall. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it again, actually, but I'll flip hands. There you go, that one. Yeah, I've gotta say, if I had to choose the two, at the moment, the Hilti is smashing the Festool. Just feel the way it is driving into the brick. Oh, look, the Festool. Festool's in this one. Ooh, giving Hilti a run for his money. Going. Run, Festool's beat it. Obviously. The festival was just warming up. <laughs> tell you what you want to try. What? Bill's battery. Bill's battery. Mikita. Mikita. Yeah. Do you hear that, guys? Yeah. Festival. Hilti. And then Mikita. Who will win the fight? Mikita. Now, 18 volt, 5 amp. This is the one about stops. I don't like these stops on, you see. So let's just take that off. So instantly, straight away, that would do my head in, that would. Look. I mean, why, why have a cordless do that? Why is, it, why is he doing that? Why, why, why is he doing that, guys? That, that just drives me nuts, that does. Put these down on the floor, where they go? Absolutely nowhere. Now, unless they've got a different battery, a thinner battery, don't know, I'll have to speak to Mark or Phil, but for me, look, why would I want that? Let's compete against the Festool, see how she fares. Now, don't forget, this is an 18 volt. This is an 18 volt as well, so they're they're really well paired. Here we go. Battle of the Festool. Makita. Right, here we go. One, two, three. I'm sorry, sorry. Makita, no way. I mean, to be honest, it's nice and light. That's nice and light, but this absolutely smashed it. What I will do is I'll try the other way around. You ready? One, two, three. Keep on going, see? Let's see what we've got. Oh, even match, really. If it keeps warming up. 
coming up. I must confess, you know when I was using the heel to infest all, the heel teeth felt like it was eating into the brickwork a lot better. And then obviously... That was the best. No! <laughs> Is that because it's yours, Phil? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So guys, the comparison. This is obviously my opinion. If you said, Tony, what cordless SDS would you buy? I would actually say, right, this is first, just fractionally better than the Festool. Reason being is that when you're drilling, you can actually feel it biting just as well as the Festool. You wouldn't go wrong with buying one of these and one of these guys, okay? I would buy either of those two products. Balance wise, I actually feel like this is a lot better balanced. It feels more comfortable, more ergonomic in your hand, whereas the Hilti, it feels a bit heavy. Probably that's why it eats in, because it's probably got a bit more power to it. It definitely feels a lot heavier. How it would stand the test of time, I mean, like if you can imagine, this cordless is nearly 10 years old. This cordless is only like two years old, year and a half old, something like that. Now, the one thing I'm really disappointed with is this. Now, obviously this is the lighter, feels nice to hold, but a few things wrong. That, that really does my head in. I can't stress how much that does my head in because we all know when you're drilling with SDS and everything else, the end of the bit gets really hot. So if you put that down, say that you then, it suddenly the hot end then goes onto something that might burn it or whatever, or mark it, I don't know. But, and the other thing is when you're drilling the brick, it doesn't have that bite that the Festool or the Hildy has. So I do think that Mikita really needs to rethink this. I really do, uh, personally, that's my personal opinion. I mean, other people might say, Tone, actually, I really like my Mikita, which is cool. I'm really happy for you guys. But for me, if somebody said to me, Tone, what would you buy? I would definitely not buy that. Uh, I would definitely buy that one or that one. Okay, guys, that's my honest review of what I find with the three tools. But obviously, Phil loves his Mikita. See you later, guys.